Hi guys, in this tutorial I want to announce the AM Film JSX update. Many of you requested additional buttons, and now they're ready to use. Also the effects tab wasn't working on Macs, but I've fixed it, so it should now work perfectly on Mac as well. I don't have a Mac to test it myself, so if you run into any issues, please leave a comment, and I'll fix it as soon as possible. I also want to give a huge thank you to everyone who has supported the channel by purchasing this panel. The AM Film panel is completely free for everyone, but your donations mean a lot and really motivate me to keep creating more tools and tutorials for you all. So let's dive into the updated UI panel, and I'll walk you through what each new button does and how you can use them in your edits. If you're new to AM Film and don't know how to install or use this JSX panel, make sure to check out the first video, I'll leave the link in the description. Also a quick note, some of you asked why the panel doesn't work on older versions of After Effects. The panel is supported on After Effects 2019 and above. If you're using AE 2018 or earlier, unfortunately it won't work. If you use AE 2019 and still have any issues, make sure to enable two options in AE. Go to Edit, then Preferences and select Script and Expressions. Here make sure to enable these two options for allow scripts to write files and enable JavaScript debugger. But if you are not running into any issues, do not enable those settings. Now let's move on to the new buttons many of you requested. I've added five new tools to the panel. Null, Duplicate, Precomp, Fit, and Sequence. You already know what most of these buttons do, since we all use them daily. But the Sequence button might be new to some of you, because it's actually a little hidden AE trick. Let me show you exactly what it does and how you can use it in your edits. For example your first layer is set to the correct point, but the other layers are all messed up something like this, and now you have to go and place them in order to have a clean timeline. Now you don't need to do it manually, simply select all your layers, but also make sure that the first top layer is at the right point. Then while all layers are selected, Selected. Just click on the sequence button and it will do the magic for you. Now all the layers are arranged one after another in the timeline with no gaps or overlaps, perfectly lined up in sequence. The next new button is duplicate. With this button you no longer need to remember or use keyboard shortcuts to duplicate a layer. Simply select your layer, click on duplicate, and you're done. The layer will instantly be duplicated in your timeline. The next and also the most requested one is the pre-comp button. Just select your layer, click on pre-comp, choose the option you need, and hit OK. That's it, your layer is pre-composed instantly. My favorite one in this update is the fit button. If the scale of one or multiple layers is messed up, just select them and hit fit, it instantly restores their scale back to 100%. A new update for frame blending on and off. I have shortened those buttons because they were too long, now the buttons are FB on and FB off. If you click FB on, it will enable frame blending on all of your layers in the composition instantly. If you click FB off, it will turn it off. For the effects tab, I didn't make any changes because it's a fully customizable tab, you control what goes inside it. The only update is that it wasn't working on Macs, and I've now fixed it for Mac users as well. So that's the update with the new buttons. It took me about one week to complete because it's not that simple, adding each button can sometimes cause other issues. I spent the whole week making sure the update is as clean and stable as possible. More essential buttons will be added in upcoming updates, so I hope you enjoy the AM Film UI panel. If you have any requests for buttons that could make your work flow faster, let me know in the comments. Keep in mind, not all buttons can be added directly to the JSX script panel, but I'll do my best to include as many of your requests as possible.